Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I'll be doing a video to show you guys how to make a grappling hook. Let's get straight into it. So, the first thing you will need is 10 wood. You get wood by getting an axe and coming to these trees and going and whacking them. As you can see just from one tree, I've already got 38 wood. That's definitely more than enough needed to make a crafting bench. So, once you have the 10 wood, grab it and then go down here to your left and make a workbench and place it down. Once you've got a workbench, next you will need 20 stone, 4 wood and 3 torches. So again for the wood you have to chop down a tree. For the stone you have to come underground and just dig this stuff, this grey stuff right here. I've already got 12 stone right there. It's really easy to find it so you won't have any trouble. And then for torches, you need to find a slime. Doesn't matter what slime, a blue slime, a green slime, pink slime, and they drop this thing, gel. You need one gel and one wood to create three torches so that is what you need three torches right there four wood and 20 stone and then you use that near the crafting bench to make this a furnace once you've got that place it down then once you've got the furnace Next, you will need 15 iron ore. So, to get iron ore, you just go down underground into a cave or you can dig your own hole down and then find, ah uh, yes, right here. See this? This is iron. You're going to want to find, f at the moment, 15. So let me just dig this up. How much is that? Now I have 13 iron and I need a little more. All right, there we go. Now I have 22 iron, so I will head back. Once you have the iron and you head back, come to your furnace and go craft five iron bars. Once you have five iron bars, you can make an iron anvil. Once you make that, go ahead and place it down. After that, you need three more iron to make one last iron bar. And once you have made the iron bar, use it and make 10 chains. Once you have 10 chains, you will only need three of them. So you can put the rest in the bin or use them for something else. But you will only need three chains. Once you have the three chains, again, go underground to the cavern layer. As you can see to the right, I've got this, a cell phone, so it will show me how deep I am. Right now I'm at the underground, and if I head deeper, I should be able to get to the cavern layer. Alright, right now I'm at the cavern layer. So, I need to wait for skeletons to spawn, or piranhas. As you can see, my um, thing behind my back just killed a piranha. Skeletons and piranhas have a small chance of dropping something called a hook. So, be on the lookout, because you need that. As you can see, there's a skeleton right there. Sadly did not drop the hook, so 
we need to keep on waiting until either a piranha or a skeleton does drop a hook. <laughs> As you can see, I have just killed a piranha and it dropped this, a hook. Now once you have a hook, just head on back up to your anvil. Alright, so I'm back at my anvil as you can see. I have got three chains and one hook. And here, in the crafting menu, is a grappling hook. Let's go ahead, just craft that. And all you need to do is hold it out and place it in this slot right here. And there we go, you've got a grappling hook. To use it, just press E. It stretches out and grabs onto stuff. As you can see, it's really good if you don't have wings since you can well like get around faster and climb up things instead of having to dig or make platforms so yeah that's how you make a grappling hook if you enjoyed please like subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when i make a new video thanks for watching and see you all next time